February 2nd and yesterday we got about six inches on top of the couple of feet we have and today already we've shuffled five this is the second of the two or maybe three punch storm that we're having so I just came over to shovel out a path to the motorhome just in case we lose power and we have to hunker down inside there with the generator going but uh, over those snow bank as you can just see the tops the kayak rack actually of our cars buried behind those snow bankings so yeah we did a lot of shoveling especially Jay <sighs> good thing he's a good strong man so Marty's driveway and looking down Central Street towards Plasto and up towards 111. It sure is a winter wonderland, isn't it? I'm going to try to walk to the beginning of my driveway. And Jay is going to try to clean off the cars a little bit. I just, uh, I'm just happy I got a little shovel path to the motorhome. Like I said, if we lose power, we've got a generator out there and at least we can have heat. While we may not have running water, we can have heat out there. So it's kind of a good thing to keep it open. It's about 2 p.m. on February 2nd. And um, looks like we have to go out and shovel again. I don't know if you can see the car over that snow bank. And, but um, I don't know how much more we got since we were out shoveling this morning. But we shoveled off six inches or so this morning. And I would just, I'd guess we've got another maybe three or four on top of that, maybe even more. And even though it's a little bit of a lull right now, it is still coming down tiny flakes. They're a little bit wetter, I think. Oh well. It's New England. So here it is, February 3rd, and we're thinking it stopped. But look at that incredible snow banking. Unbelievable. From inside the house, I can't even see the cars out here. So this blizzard that we've had unreal amount of snow. I'm hoping it's done because I don't know. Thank God for my son who helped plow us today. Unbelievable. February 2nd, 2011. So I'm in the kitchen and I'm looking out my kitchen window. You see the back end of Jay's car through the glass. But you really can't you can't see much of his car at all. You can see a little bit of the Ford over there, but his car is just totally buried in that snowbank and 